Good morning. My name is Roger Campbellton. I'm 27 years old and I'm from Mattapan and I've been involved in Roka since 2017. I've had many struggles that young people don't often have to face. I didn't have a consistent support system at home. I had to face homelessness at a young age. Um, I was involved in the streets because I felt that I can control more the streets than my home. So my journey with Roku was just like, it was, it was hard at first, because I'm like, nope, I don't want to talk to this guy. Nope, I'm good. I don't want to, I don't want to talk to 50 people that know Roderick, like, like maybe a handful, but not too many. I'm really, I really wasn't that type of person, because I was still like involved in the streets a lot. So there was still like trust issues, just a lot of bullshit that come with the streets. So, and, and once I met, you know, the few people that was in the program, and like I said before, like they started to actually, once I start listening, it didn't really sound like it was like, oh, these people wanted you to say this. It was like, this really came from your brain. So like, let me listen, see what you got going on. And then once I did that throughout the, like the course of me being in Roka, it was like, my outcomes were better. It was like, I, I get into certain shit like with family, friends, and it's like, damn, I did listen to, Kev or Terrence or Ta or whoever was there at the moment to really help me figure it out because it's like there's truth behind stuff. I feel like every time I had an opportunity from Roka, it was like it was always a step up from the last one. That's that that and that's the great part about it. Always. It was like, all right, I'm working in this brewery, like I know how to do all of this stuff. I'm um I'm on a cannon line, I'm doing labels, I'm doing this depal shit, I'm like, all of this stuff is in my head and I'm doing it. But it's like, a couple months down the line, it's like, do I really like this? Do I really want it? Nah, and then it was like, all right, on to the next one. You know what I'm saying? This happens or this, so. It just took a lot of time and effort, man. It's, and plus, like, when I, was, when, when I was involved in the streets, it was like, I spent a lot of time doing nothing. So when I did stop the streets, it was kind of easier for me to be like, hold on. I was just sitting over here doing this that had nothing to do with nothing that could have ended me up in jail. So why not take that and just put it into work? I love both my bosses. I love my guy Biff that I work with. Like these people are like not your average people. For me to, for me to come in off the street, have a key to the building, I'm running the shop, like I'm doing my thing, like, less than a year, it's just, it's amazing. Like, I, I just love my job, bro. Like, communicating with people, working by myself, being hands-on, building pipe, bending it, welding it, like, I love it all. Plus, I love cars, so like, if it wasn't that, it would have been something else, but I'm, I'm glad that I stumbled across these people that actually gave me an opportunity to show them, like, who, who I really could be. For everybody in the world, man, just stay focused. Um, stay consistent. Life is never over for anybody. I still got shit that I'm working on myself, but life's never over. I thought I thought it was over for me 11 months ago. I thought I'd I thought I'd be back in the street somewhere doing nothing. So, thank you everybody. Thank you, Roka. Appreciate it all. Thank you guys so much. I do. I really do.